Hey friends, we don't typically cover pre-builds on this channel, but when iBuyPower reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to check out their brand new Elemental CL, which stands for Custom Loop, I just had to say yes, because this is one of the very few pre-builds you can get on the market, which has a custom hardline setup that they ship to you pre-filled and is actually remarkably easy to take care of and maintain. So let's go ahead and talk about the CL right now, which, for all intents and purposes, it's actually just a pretty decent gaming PC. The specs on the one that they sent me is an i7-10700KF on an ASUS Prime Z490 motherboard. You've got an RTX 2070 Super in there, 16 gigs of RAM at 3200 megahertz, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, a 650 watt power supply, but with the added advantage that it's all custom liquid Cool. And this is probably the point where a lot of the PC enthusiasts that tend to watch this channel would go, well, I could probably build this PC for much cheaper than they're actually selling it for. But you actually might be wrong because iPad Powers actually worked as hard as they possibly could and came up with a key few ingenious solutions to bring the Element CL to reality, not only at a price that's actually surprisingly reasonable, but also in a way that they can build it quite efficiently and make it so that it can be adapted to a variety of different motherboards, a variety of different GPUs, and a bunch of other settings. So we could go ahead and talk about the price right now because I'm sure that's gonna hinder a lot of you. And we actually checked this out live over on my Twitch live stream, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple, where we parted out the exact same specs of this PC versus one that you can build yourself. And we found that the markup is only around $100 or $200, depending on the component and the time of day you're buying, especially with power supplies being so crazy right now. I mean, this is this is essentially the PC, right? You've got the case, the motherboard, the piece, uh, CPU, the graphics card the RAM, the SSD, and the power supply. We're at $1,500, okay? Oh, you guys can't see that. We're, yeah, we're at like roughly $1,500. This is $200 more, but still includes the CPU water block, the GPU water block, the distro plate, and they install it for you. That's a heckin' good deal. That is such a good price. And it's hardline tubing, yeah. That's hard to say no to. Let's say generously, generously to kind of knock against iBuyPower, they have a $300 markup on here on components. Well, the things that we didn't include in that spec sheet are the CPU water block, the GPU water block, as well as the front rad distribution plate that they have set up, which makes this whole thing possible. So in this system, they have a key few things that iBuyPower has done. The first is that front distro plate, which allows them to make it so that they don't have to worry about custom bending the tubes before they ship it out. They know exactly where all of the tubes go before they even assemble this thing. So that's step number one. Step number two is that on the CPU block, they've actually made it adjustable and slidable to match whatever motherboard you have so that you don't have to recut the tubing. The tubing can be standard no matter what. You just slide over the block no matter where it is on the motherboard that you're trying to install it in. And then number three is the custom GPU water cooling loop, which again serves the same function of they can quickly install the pipes because they know exactly where they go because they have the GPU water block set up so that it can be in the same position no matter what components you're installing in this system. So those key few advancements, plus the fact that they're using pressure fittings that are typically found in home plumbing rather than actual water cooling components, that has made it so that they can ship it without anything coming loose or uh, getting damaged on the way, and it hardly adds any time to the installation of a pre-built system. And then also it comes with the added bonus that it hardly adds any cost to the end consumer as well. Their goal for the Element Seal, at least according to what they sent me, is to have it no more than $100 over a typical air or AIO water cooling. And with a $1,700 price tag on this specific system, they've come very close to that. They have different systems that you can get that have different uh, specs and different components, but the key features of the Element CL remain. The front distro red block, the adjustable coolers to make it so that they can get it assembled and shipped out as quickly and efficiently as possible, and then allow you as the end consumer to kind of benefit from that. And one of the cool things that I found when they shipped it to me was they have these little styrofoam cutouts to put the put on the tubing to make it so that they don't actually come together during shipping. So this thing arrived to me completely flawlessly. We actually checked it out live again on my live stream. There were no power cables disconnected. Everything was firm and snug. Nothing was wrong with this. And it just looks freaking good 
to begin with. So the advantages of this are you're not paying a whole lot more and you get a beautiful custom liquid cooled system that stands out even though it is indeed a pre-built. iBuyPower has gone through a lot of effort. I actually really love the GPU block and the RGB that they have on it as well as the CPU block. They've made it something that actually stands out, but you don't have to go through the time and hassle of actually bending all of the tubes yourself, which, which for a lot of you is the experience, but then you're not in the key target market for the Element CL. But regardless, none of this would matter if the performance wasn't good. If the 360 rad that's included in here couldn't dissipate the heat, thankfully, I found that in all of the benchmarking and testing that I did, the RTX 2070 Super could easily hit two gigahertz, rock steady, never going above 60 degrees Celsius. The CPU was never above 55 in all of the testing that I've done on the 10700 KF. So the cooling on the 360 mil rad actually works very effectively for the current situation that we've got going on here. However, that does bring me to the concern that I'm sure a lot of you has. This is an RTX 2070 Super. NVIDIA just announced the RTX 30 series. So I personally would have to recommend that you don't buy it as the current configuration. Wait till the 30 series. The current configuration is a little hard to recommend, but 3070 doesn't come out till October. 3080 is only launching in a couple of weeks. So if you pick this up, you got something good. But one of the also key things to mention in this is that even though you're not constructing it yourself, iBuyPower has actually made it super simple for you to take care of the loop. If any water needs to go in or any water needs to go out, it's as easy as taking off the front plate on this case, and then you have access to the top fill port and the bottom drain port external to the system to make it super easy to manage. You could just drain it and fill it up with your own custom liquid to make it look a lot nicer. It's actually quite uh, a remarkable system that they've come together with here that I actually really appreciate what iBuyPower has done here with the Element CL. It has a lot of good features to it. Maybe the specs aren't where you want it to be with the 30 series coming out, but if they do indeed upgrade this to the 30 series, which I see no reason why they wouldn't, this is a huge win for people who want to have a showstopper PC, number one, without having a whole lot of extra money to spend on the components, and number two, without having the time or the expertise to get into custom hardline liquid cooling yourself. iBuy Power has come out with something really special here on the Element CL. I very much appreciate it. Let me know what you think of the Element CL down below in the comments, what they've done here with the custom fittings, with the custom blocks, how they've assembled the Element CL. I know typically pre-builds aren't where everybody's minds are at with when it comes to enthusiast PC builders, but this is honestly on par probably with something that I could do. I mean, I have some experience in custom hardline cooling, but I'm not great at it and this is honestly about where I could get it and to have that at a hardly extra price premium would sometimes be worth the time savings that this could bring to me. So I want to thank iBuyPower for sending this PC over for me to review. I have to send it back. I do not get to keep it. So I'm a little sad there but you can check them out at the link in the video description in case you want to pick up one of the Element CLs potentially, hopefully, after they do a 30 series refresh. I'll leave a link down in the video description for that. Let me know what you think of that Element CL down below. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.